Everyone, happy Thursday. It's 3.30 Pacific time. And we're doing another Facebook Live, which is always so exciting for me because I have to figure out what I'm going to wear. <laughs> anyway, today I chose, I chose this beautiful dress that I bought in Paris, and I thought the yellow would just highlight everything butterflies today, and that's going to be the focus of, um, of what I present and feature. And um, for those of you who don't know you, me, my name's Jen. This is my shop. The premise of my business, JJ Caprices, is that I travel the world and I curate handmade women's accessories that um, are made by different artisans and designers. Well, I met by visiting their country, and typically there's usual, usually a tradition, uh, craftsmanship that they're preserving. There's usually a beautiful story behind the, the artisan itself, uh, the reason why they're making their pieces, or even just the story of, of how I, I came upon them, because everything is typically pretty serendipitous. But I don't, when I travel, I don't go to these countries having researched artisans beforehand. The art, I like to say what I do is I just walk the streets and get to know the locals and, and find uh, organically the beautiful artisans that we feature in the shop. So, so today we're gonna talk about all things butterflies. And it's not because necessarily I have an affinity towards butterflies. I, one of our lines um, by these two gentlemen designers out of Sevilla, Spain called Dublos, they, I just originally, well, many of you probably know, I just got a bunch of new pieces by them. And there was a pair of earrings that they sent me that I must have chose that has butterflies on them. And so it just sort of made me start it and they're beautiful. I will show them to you here in a minute, but it just made me think about what other things in my shop do I have? Anne, hello. <laughs> so cool. Um, but it made me think about what other things I have in my shop that are uh, um, that feature butterflies. And for those of you who do love butterflies and symbolism of things, as I do, you probably know that butterflies have many strong symbols across the planet. And actually, I went and tried to research to see if. Um, there was any specific symbols to some of the countries that I'm going to feature with the, with the jewels today, but what I found across most, most cultures and around the world is is uh, that butterflies are a symbol of transformation and change, and they're typically a, a good luck sign too when you're going through these changes. They're also symbols of brightness and lightheartedness. So perhaps sometimes if you see a butterfly you should just reflect if you should release some of your tensions. Um, there are some ancient cultures and, and um, mystic cultures that have related butterflies to your soul or immortality. Um, the Romans used to think that the butterflies, when a person would die, your soul would leave you through your mouth as a butterfly. And in Japan, in Japan a white butterfly signifies a soul. So um, I personally think they're just beautiful. I lived in Costa Rica for a year back in 1998. I was a Rodeo Ambassadorial Scholarship winner. And um, while I grew up in Montana, of course I saw butterflies. Butterflies in the tropics are remarkable. And the first time I saw blue morpho butterfly, and whoever's had the privilege of seeing a blue morpho butterfly, you would know just how magical that moment because of this beautiful iridescent blue and they flitter around just like a Disney character. And I suppose Disney probably saw them and <laughs> created them in all their cartoons. But it was really just a, a surreal moment. And um, so I think, so I look, I, whenever I see a butterfly, I guess it sort of brings me back to, to the magic of seeing these beautiful um, blue morpho butterflies in Costa Rica. And just because I am very uh, fact orientated, there are 28,000 types of butterflies in the world. 80% of them do live in the tropics. So anyways, moving forward with actual jewels. I know I just didn't what Anne wrote here. Hello, just checking in on you. <laughs> I'm alive here in Seattle. And <laughs> it's actually like sunny out today. So it's like 62 degrees, which I know you're in, or you're in Crookston or you're in Minnesota. So that probably sounds uh, like a summer day to you, um, but it's just been nice to get a little bit warmer weather and not have to have the heater on my feet every day. And I get to wear little dresses like this that have um, like little cut off sleeves and I'm not, and I didn't have to turn up the heat in here. 
in order to <laughs> in order to wear it. But anyways, back to butterflies. So I what I'm wearing, what I started to wear, and I thought would be so cool with this dress, are um, these earrings that are made by Matteo in Tuscany, and all, everything that I'm going to talk about. There's a link in the description that you can find them and everything butterflies is 15% off just through tomorrow. But these particular earrings are made by Matteo in Italy and Tina's father have been, they, I stumbled upon, I stumbled upon their shop when I was in San Gimignano. And it was like one of those like mouth open gasp when I saw their pieces and they, um, ugh, I meant to turn off my, I meant to turn off my, my, uh, text. Anyways, they uh, are featured different pieces uh, that highlight um, flora and fauna. So this one is a series of butterflies, this particular necklace that they made. And so they use uh, wax molds and the molten brass, and then they plate everything with gold. And so this, if you can see, and I'll, maybe I'll take it off in a minute because the light gets really bright. Um, but you can see basically what they did is they took a lot of molds of butterflies and these are all butterflies there's like the earrings have some flowers mixed in with the butterflies so it's like the butterflies are pollinating them but these ones are all just butterflies that they have soldered together in this beautiful bib necklace that honestly you could wear with any I know I have it with a dress but I was gonna I was actually gonna wear this like little polo top and it looked remarkable with that so it it's um I kind of have it on sort of in this like elegant setting but it absolutely can be something that can be casual and um, but it's it's a statement piece and very much a centerpiece and so beautiful and while this piece doesn't have any butterflies I just wanted to show you another piece by Matteo out of Italy and this has none of the fauna no there's no insects or snakes but this um, shows some of the remarkable detail with this cuff and I love I love all their all their pieces and what I did okay so like I said I did a little research on butterflies and just some of the different countries and and how butterflies might be significant or not significant to them and what I did find for Italy is that there's a particular idiom that the Italians use and I'm not going to say it in Italian but what it translates to is to run behind butterflies and while that sounds I don't know, it sort of sounds whimsical. And it actually, if someone tells you this in Italy, it's basically a way of telling you that you're wasting your time or you're chasing after an unachievable goal. So if Italy, you're ever, if you're ever told that you're running behind butterflies, maybe you should just like change, change your path, <laughs> do something different. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay, so I'm gonna take off these and I'm going to show you the earrings that inspired today's butterfly theme because I just want to make sure I spend a little time on them because they're so brilliant. Um, so like I said, just a couple weeks ago, we got the new line from Dublos and they are beyond words in so many ways. But so uh, Alonzo and Jose, they've been designing for over 30 years. Uh, they live in Sevilla, Spain. They have a workshop. They actually work with like 10 or so artisans who do, once they have the design in place, they'll do a lot of the handwork themselves, their particular, um, their artisans. But any piece that has hand painting, like this particular piece on the butterfly, is done by, um, I believe it was Jose that does all the, I have to, I have to remember. Anyways, it's one of them. But what I thought was exceptional about these earrings, and because they're in Sevilla, and flamenco is, of course, very um, notable in the south of, of Spain, they try to embody the spirit and the fantasy and the sensuality of the flamenco dance in, quote unquote, you know, everyday accessories. Um, this is a, a high fashion uh, couture uh, accessory design house. So, But what, what I particularly love, and this, this time is the first time I've seen this particular detail with the Dublos earrings is that, okay, I'm going to switch it around so you can see the resin back. But what they've done is they've taken, I would, I guess, resin beads. Um, 
but it's been melted. So these are like stained glass, except for, I don't think it's glass. I should actually, I should ask them. It was just a surprise to me, the surprise element. Just, and I don't know if, um, I wish I had a light behind me because maybe I would show you, because it actually looks like a church window, these particular earrings. And then you've got this remarkable hand-painted butterfly and these beautiful pastel colors that are so spring. But like I said, it was literally the, these earrings were literally the inspiration for, for today's butterfly featuring an educational talk. <laughs> But really, all things do. Let me take this off so we don't, so we don't confuse them. But literally, all and if you haven't seen the new dude bullet lines, just click on um, the new in the collection. And before I stick this down, let me just show it a little bit closer, so you can see all the detail in this bib necklace. Stunning, stunning, and everything is 15% off through tomorrow night um, that has a butterfly on it. So everything that I'm going to feature today, including these remarkable Dublin's earrings. Um, so there is, and I know there's a lot of jewelry in the shop. For those of you who don't know, there's also some scarves and there's some totes that are good for shopping at Trader Joe's um, or the market, the farmer's market. And there's two of those items that, and they're, um, the cloth is all hand block printed in India, which is an amazing amount of work goes into block printing because you find the teak block, it takes three days to carve the design, every design that you see. So let me just pull up. So this is a little makeup bag that features um, called retro butterflies. And so every design is a different block and then every color is another block to fill in the design. And I, and, I, and I believe it was like a thousand stamps per meter of fabric. And what's neat about these, this particular um, design house, Inoki, and they were created to preserve the tradition of block printing in India because it is so arduous and uh, just takes a lot of time to, to, um, to make a meter of fabric. So, uh, and I lost my train of thought. Anyways, but these are makeup bags done with the block printing. And you can see inside that they have the lining so your makeup can actually smear the inside and you can wipe it out cleanly. I also, just because not everyone is gonna love the, the retro butterfly look, I also brought out a couple of the other designs. And again, these are all made in Jaipur, um, in Rajasthan, near Jaipur in India and just beautiful and soft. They use a cotton. It's a high quality cotton that's super soft. And um, like I said, all the makeup bags do have lining on the inside. And then if you like the, the prints, you could also get your own little tote, which actually matches beautifully to this dress. And these totes are all cotton. Let's see, maybe I'll stand up so you can see how long they are. But they're perfect little market totes. And again, these are all cotton. I believe the price point on these, the price point on these isn't very high. It's like $20, $20 maybe. Um, but perfect gift, hostess gifts. I brought out a couple other fabrics too in case you prefer something without a butterfly, but very vibrant and so soft. And I'm not sure about you, but I don't like to go grocery shopping. So having something that might make the experience more fun, like a beautiful, vibrant, this, this one, oh, this one, I think the design is called wine trellis. So what's not, what's not to love about that? <laughs> but the two, the ones that feature, um, the ones that feature the butterflies, you'll find those in the butterfly collection. And again, those are 15% off. 
Um, moving on to a couple other pieces featuring butterflies, of course. So we all love Eric and Liddy from France, this beautiful couple who live in the north of France and who also love nature and vintage pieces. And I have, I couldn't believe it, I only have one piece from them. It's this beautiful, sweet brace bracelet that features the sweetest little butterfly who is fluttering around a Swarovski crystal flower and a 24 karat gold plated petaled flower. And then there's a sweet little seed pearl that dangles. But I love anything them, as most of you all. And I just wanted to make sure I had something, which I was so excited I did. Because so sweet, so stackable, beautiful, beautiful, elegant. These are other just like great, great, um, great gifts. In fact, my, uh, my, one of my dearest girlfriends, she was visiting me that last week and her daughter ended up, um, her, her mom gifted her a piece from the, hers were earrings, but she was gifted a piece from Eric and Libby. Uh, all right. So moving on, what other countries should we talk about next? I've got Mexico. I've got two from Mexico. So let's do Mexico next. When I was in, both of these pieces are in Oaxaca. So some of you may or may not know I was in Oaxaca in Mexico this past January. And I specifically went there because Frida Kahlo, she adopted her style from that region of Mexico. And um, so I first originally went there looking for pieces that uh, were inspired by her or pieces that she would have worn. I have since gone back because the pieces are exceptional down there. And this past time I met this uh, a, a artisan by the name of Caesar who makes beautiful sterling silver filigree work. And while this piece is very small, and I'm gonna show you some filigree ones from Portugal as well, but you can just see how much detail goes into these, and there is our sterling silver, and it, his has the seed pearl as well. And let me just take these stunning Dublos earrings off. <laughs> kind of sad about that. <laughs> but these are just as special, <laughs> just not as dramatic, and I do love dramatic jewelry. Um, but these ones, you know, since you probably can't wear those Dublos to the grocery store, you can wear these sweet earrings along with your butterfly tote from India and just be the bell of Trader Joe's. But these are lovely and sweet and um, just so much, so much detail. And I believe the price point on these is 48 and that's before the discount. So just, so also really good price points. Also, so from the South, so I spent five days in, in Oaxaca City and then took a bus. It was kind of a harrowing bus ride down to the, um, the peninsula, the Uchitan. It's not the Uchitan Peninsula. I went to Uchitan, but it's considered the peninsula. Isthmus. It's considered the Isthmus, sorry. Because I wanted specifically to get filigree work done that is very specific and famous in that region of Oaxaca. And... Um, I was able to get a lot of earrings, which are in the shop, but a few new pieces that are pendant necklaces. This particular pendant doesn't come off. Some of them does. Um, in this case, too, it's also, its chain is rose quartz. And I love these pieces. This piece, oh, by the way, this piece is not in the collection yet because I think I forgot. To add it so I will make sure I do but these are lovely statement pieces and while they're um there might be like an ethnic feel to it I still I think it's so easy to mix and match with just simple pieces because it's such a statement pieces piece in its own right and you can't the gold against the gold dress isn't probably the most brilliant way to showcase this but I love, I love all these pieces. And I, and I think if you follow me anywhere on Instagram or on uh, Facebook, then uh, you see me wearing pieces like this. Sometimes there's the coral, sometimes there's the jade, sometimes there's the turquoise change, but they're just fun pieces to wear and so versatile. Um, okay, so did I take off? I didn't take off this one. But 
since we're talking about filigree pieces, I'm going to show you another sweet pair of butterfly earrings. And this is filigree from Portugal. So you can see almost, all right, I'm going to get it as close as I can. So you can see there's, it's almost a little bit more refined and probably because the filigree detail and probably because this is me just like surmising right now. Um, they've been doing uh, filigree work in Portugal for, gosh, I think since, since medieval times, like for a very, very, very long time. In fact, filigree work is a uh, tradition and very iconic to the culture, culture and country of Portugal. And so they're very, they're very proud of their filigree work and it is exquisite. So if you haven't looked at all the, the filigree Portuguese work in the shop, you should because it's remarkable and um, all the pieces that I carry are sterling silver and some of them are also gold plated, but just exquisite pieces. Okay, two more. This lovely ring is from Peru and you know, it's been a while since I've hiked Machu Picchu. And so that's how come I was kind of glad when I was, when I was looking for pieces that featured um, butterflies, I was able to sort of reminisce a little bit about my last time I was in Peru and hiking Machu Picchu and in Cusco. And that's where this particular ring is from. It's made by two award-winning artisans who live in Cusco and they live in, and, um, or their atelier, their taller um, is in the charming, famous, artsy town of Cusco called San Blas. And they work only with Peruvian silver. So this silver is from Peru and um, gold too, but I didn't pick up anything that was gold. But they love nature details. And as you can see here, you have two beautiful, excuse me, three beautiful butterflies. So maybe they could I don't, I don't, I, that's maybe a lot of transformation going on. I don't know. <laughs> but this is not adjustable, just um, as a note. It's on my middle finger, which means it's probably like a six or a six, I think I am on my middle finger, six and a half probably. But beautiful. And very much a statement ring with such sweet detail. Okay, so everything, I have this on. I'm going to take this off and just do a final pair of earrings that with butterflies that are from Israel. And I don't know why, I've just always been, I've carried this particular earring in my shop, I think almost since the time that I opened it because I love it so much. It was one of, it, so this is done by Irit who has the line Amaro. She's from Israel. Um, I first, fell in love with her pieces when I was in Jerusalem back in 2010. And I think back then I even bought a piece. It was a, a, a bracelet. I should show some of the pieces that I originally found when I found some of these artists sometime. But it had this beautiful onyx butterfly on it. And so I've just, I guess I, I have, has, have had an infinity for butterflies for a while. Anyway, so this pair of earrings is a pair that I featured in the shop when I first opened it, and I like to continue to carry it because I don't know why I'm so much, I'm fascinated by the design and the detail. And you have the butterfly that looks like he's going to land. And you've got all the beautiful Swarovski crystals, the pearls, and then you've got this like beautiful resin, clear detail on the inside. And I'll put on one of these so you can check out Check out the size. I always do it on the wrong ear first. Let's see, 24 minutes ago. Okay. I always like to make these about 25 minutes. I feel like that's the right, right amount of time. Anyways, so that's good. We're right on schedule. So here is the last, and I probably actually would put this side on the other side so you have you. So um, you have the the butterfly on the outside. But there you guys go. Those are, I believe there's like, I showed off about 10 pieces in total. There's 10 or so in the collection. If you have any questions, uh, comments, obviously comments, um, and or PM me, I'm always here and available. In fact, I, I always appreciate it, it kind of makes my day when I hear from, from you all.
So with that, go forth and shop. And I look forward to um, seeing you hopefully here next week. Oh, next week, you know what it is? It's Cinco de Mayo. So th there definitely will be something around Mexico. That definitely will be the theme next week. I just need to think through it a little bit more. So, so until then, have a great week. And um, let me know if you need anything in the meantime. Because.